Enough gawking. Looks like we have combat. These guys again, yeah, you- yeah, these things are so nasty, they attack so quickly. So suddenly. Looks like we have two, okay. Oh, well, two is gonna be a bit tough to hit. Three, okay. When we get to three, that's like, should I pull out the crystal here? And of course we don't have the crystal. I think maybe if I can get a holy water blast in for all of them, though, I can do some damage. There we go. Don't know how much that did, but let's see. Maybe if I can get some wider attacks here. We can do some real damage with the shadow magic. Okay, how about we don't let you do- Ow, that. I thought there was a bit more of a wind-up there, honestly. I'm just getting- Get freaking reamed here. Okay, we'll do that again. Got you. I'm gonna use this to try to get some light magic back. We'll go ahead and activate that. Looks like the the holy water did do a fair amount here, though, since they're all kind of within KO range now. Okay. So I would hope I can do this one on one. Since there's only one left, you would think I could do like a chainsaw attack and help. Yeah, that holy water really helped out right there. Oh, and yeah, I guess the fairies would have been really helpful there, huh? Oh, it's fine. We got a holy water refill, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Did take a lot of damage, but I mean, hey, welcome, welcome to Castlevania: Lords of Shadow. Not the easiest game on planet Earth, especially if you're like me and you take long breaks between uh, recording the the sessions and recording the episodes. Ooh, this looks kind of secret. Before we do that, though, I bet there's something else around here. Hmm, a key. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to be on the lookout for. What do we get here? I have assessed the expanse of the castle, and it is truly vast in size. The Dark Lord that rules here is well protected, and I fear none from our Brotherhood will ever come close enough to challenging him. It is cold here, and the wind chills to the bone. I am fortunate not to have been discovered, but I do not know how long that will last. Hmm. Well, let's see, we see this structure right here, I don't know if we can do anything though. Like, I see that hole right there! Yeah, looks like that's a non-starter. So here I thought I'd found a nice little secret here in the castle, and it's not even the case. Don't think that's where we want to go either. Let's see. Yeah, well, there's something in there, but... Let's see, I saw that glowing right there. It's probably just how we get up, so let's go ahead and see what this... This brother's gonna do. There we go. Ah, crap, another one. Well, if it's just one, let's see if I can actually do more effective chainsaws here. Nah, it's just too fast, man. It's so freaking fast. Well, the game gave me a whole lot of fairies, so we're gonna try unleashing some holy fairies. Let's see if that works at all. Come on. Anything else? There we go. Looks like the fairies are highly effective. There we go. Got another crystal from that, but I would never spend an entire crystal on just one of those guys. Very well timed, Telfolk, as well. The castle was once a place where horrific experiments were conducted. I have heard folk tell of clockwork mechanisms that still continue to turn for no apparent reason, and strange contrap contraptions <laughs> that wander its dark corridors. Lightning strikes here often. Is that what gave life to these things? Is the castle itself a giant conductor for the vast amounts of energy needed to resurrect these unholy abominations and the experiments that created them? Huh, so you're saying these things are man-made, that they're not natural, huh? Is that all that's in here? Nah, nah, it's gotta be something else. Still gotta find the key, of all things. Well, looks like that is about it, like, for this room, at the very least. Well, let's see. I did find... I did see that glowy right there. So maybe I gotta... Gotta use the cross to get up there? Oh, I can go right here? Is this... What it... Game, what is going on here? Oh! I just... I have to be... <laughs> Fine! Okay, that's cool. We'll get back up here. Now what to do from here? Can't actually go over anymore. Hmm, I still think there might be something to do with this right here. That is kind of where we came from at the very least. Do we establish we can do something with these guys? Oh, you just bust this open for more equipment. Don't really need more sub-weapons at the moment. I kind of need more magic, but... You know, I probably just missed something in that room. Like I said, we are at the point where the glowies, uh... It's not being less helpful, somehow. Actually, let me see. You know what would make sense? It's if we could, uh, attach there and then jump. How do we jump again? We gotta... Kick like that. There we go, and then we grab it. Except you don't miss it like I did. <laughs> I get almost forgetting my buttons right here, but we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Let's see, maybe if I'm a bit higher up. Yeah, let's try that. 
Now, that's gotta be what we gotta do. I'm just messing it up. Come on. One more time. One more time. Maybe all the way back here? I don't think we get enough air that way, is the thing. That should do it. Gotcha! Hey, I had to use my noggin a little bit there, but hey, we're good. We're good. Yeah, what do we have behind door number two? Or gate number two? Ah, oh, crap. These guys. Well, let's go ahead and get this while we can. Hey, light gem. I'll take it. Don't really need it at the moment, but I'll go ahead and release this last fairy. Should have done that while I had um, actual light energy going. Oh, I forgot those guys could dash that far. There we go. That's not really what I wanted either. Another fairy. How about that? Well, I'm just not doing very good dodging and weaving right here now, am I? At least that stuns that one. Let's focus on that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Go down, go down, go down. I held that for as long as I could, man. Barely got anywhere with it. I swear some of those aerial attacks I've been working on. That's not really what I'm thinking of. Maybe I have to refresh my little combo. Uh, knowledge here. But we did get long enough to wear. Ow. At least get a bit of shadow magic back. Oh. You guys are done. Okay. Uh, nope. Looks like they're gonna come back. Hey, guys. So, how do you beat these things again? Oh, yeah, you just gotta beat them again once they're down. Ha! Okay, let's get out the way again. I wanna try to get back to that, that really heavy combo. But... Oh, god. I always forget, like, how low I'm actually kind of running on health here when I right get into combat. There we go, I'll take it. We do have enough light magic for that not to be an issue, though. And now we're back out of here. Skeletons are pretty annoying since you have to effectively beat them twice, but... And I feel like all these enemies, man, they just they just attack you so fast. Okay, well, let's just get down. As in, like, you don't have a whole lot of dodge time. I know what you're saying. Hey, Virgo, you could always use the block. How about you do that? <laughs> and you're right. Maybe I should use the block a little bit more. Because it's weird, you know? I've been playing some Zelda lately, an undisclosed Zelda game. And you know, I use the block so much in Zelda as opposed to the dodge. I guess it's just the way the combat works. You know, it's kind of slower paced, more methodical, not combo based. Something like that. Alright, we're in. Where are we going? We need to get out of the cold, beautiful as it is. Oh, well, it looks like this was something. Oh my god, what are these? Is this like a, like a playhouse room at some point? Creepy, man. Oh, God. I don't like dolls. I don't like puppets. They creep me out. I hate them. Take that, though. We were running a little low. And what is that? Do I even dare to... Oh, wait. There's one more. Do I even dare to investigate? Oh, a puzzle. There's some writing on the sides of the strange machine. The color shall be no longer the red. If you drop the balls, all using your head. This toy was a gift from my mother, the queen. To get her, to get to her throne, all hinges must be green. Okay. Oh god, is this like a pachinko machine or something? Oh, something like that. Okay, so they all have to be green, huh? Well, that did it right there. Oh, I see. So it's just a matter of picking the correct combination here. Okay. I wonder, could this have possibly been it? Cause I think, nah, it's gonna go the wrong way. Hmm. Well, this one's just gonna go like that, but it's gonna hit that one. Which is what I probably should have done to begin with. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a hard one. Could be a tricky one. But I think like a lot of the others, you can kind of just trial and error this one. I believe this one will do it. Slightly annoying, but we got it. They're all green. Hey. Yeah, I just kind of floundered around with trial and error there. Didn't have much of a strategy, not gonna lie. Ooh, new combos available. What do we got? I need some more advanced moves. I need to kind of like, I need to refresh myself. Oh yeah, the heavy combo. How do you do that? Oh, you have to hold initially and then boom. Okay, yeah, that's what I've been missing. I don't see any new combos here. Oh, they're relic powers. Who cares, man? I'm hardly ever using the relics. Well, I guess I, I am, but... 
This part of the castle was once where acclaimed scientist Friedrich von Frankenstein conducted his experiments into artificial life. He was quite mad and often would conduct horrific and depraved acts trying to discover the secrets of life itself. His own demise was equally gruesome. The vampire queen took him but kept him alive thus over many centuries. She fed on him daily, keeping him at the brink of death, yet living and aware. Why she did this is only known to a few. She once loved life and loved living things, and before she became a Lord of Shadow, she vowed she would punish Frankenstein for his vile acts. As a Dark Lord, she was able to keep her word. The Laboratory of Frankenstein. Shouldn't be surprised, of course, he would be here in the Vampire Castle. Look at this, what a creative room to have in the castle. I freaking love it. Because, you know, we're used to these vampire castles. Kind of chuckling from what I'm not calling it. Uh, we're used to these vampire castles having all manner of rooms within them, right? So, I mean, this is nowhere near out of the realm of possibility. I've uh, spent two days in this labyrinth trying to figure a way out of here. With some observation, it is easy to see that the strange devices create deadly barriers between the red and blue ones. Now I only need to find a way to make them switch colors. Okay, let's see what we got. So we got the switch right here. Did that do anything? Did that do anything for you? Can't really tell. Let's see, maybe I can hit him? Oh, what is this? Let's see. There's some way to trigger something here. So maybe you just have to hit it, or maybe you have to punch the button. There we go. Come on. Oh my god, did I forget how to punch? There we go. Downward punches like that. Though right there we go. And definitely want to make sure I have all the holy water I can carry, for sure. Okay, now to get out of here... Let's go ahead and see, what about this one? Yeah, not quite. That opened up the way there, but... Can't quite access... The area that I need to. So let's go ahead and try hitting this one now. Of course, this one's kind of like the warm-up, like, okay, baby game for babies, am I right? And now we nail that one, right? Or do I nail that one? Yeah, we probably nailed this one. I'm gonna get cut off if I don't. There we go. Not exactly sure what I did, but hey, we know how we're gonna have to handle these puzzles in the future. Hey, I buy it. This definitely looks like a Frankenstein lab. But what were these abominations he was talking about? Oh god, this is gonna be a pain. I remember this. This is about to trip me up bad. Alright, well, let's see. Got our first button right here, but I want to look around a little bit more. And obviously, a battery. <laughs> what a weird word to say in this setting. We're gonna have to get that battery, and I guess that's the battery. Because that moves out there. Okay. Well, this doesn't look like it'll be too, too difficult. I do want to be on the lookout for, like, hidden rooms, though. Hidden skeletons. There we go. Ooh, so close to more light. I think we're really close to more, um... More shadow magic as well. Come on. If I can get another expansion before we fight, uh, the Lord of Shadow for this place. Whose name I am purposely not saying. Although I guess, you know, Zobek has been referring to her as the Vampire Queen, so that's how I shall refer to her from here on out, the Vampire Queen. The second Lord of Shadow. And I also thought it was kind of funny how we've been seeing uh, you know, Brotherhood entries being like, oh man, this Lord of Shadow, like he's so he's so he's so menacing, he's so threatening. Like, it, it's it's not a dude, it's a lady. There we go. Got that one now. And what is this? Hmm. Well, if I had to guess, we're probably gonna have to hit that one with a knife, because what I see... Come on. 
the telltale sign of when you're gonna have to use the knives are gonna be whenever you find, you know, these guys right here. Can't carry any more daggers, but we do know from experience that we can power up a shadow dagger in order to hit that button. Before we do that though, let me just go ahead and make sure I'm not missing anything around here. Looks like we're good. Alright, shadow dagger it is. Hey, there we go. And I guess we need one more. Done! Was that really the puzzle that gave me so much trouble? I would hope not. Oh no, we got more. That is just the beginning. Yeah, this one looks like it might be a bit more painful to get through. At least they're all on the floor though, so there can only be so many combinations, am I right? Man, what a freaky looking place this is. All these gears. <laughs> Cause you know what's coming up, right? What place in these vampire castles always have gears in them? You know what I'm talking about. Okay, so maybe not tear down. So we got a dash here. There we go. That's what I needed. So we could go ahead and try to do this mechanism right here, but I'm not sure if this would do anything. What does this do? Ah, I see. Rotates it. Gotcha. Well, let's go ahead and put it back in its original spot before we touch anything else. And we'll see what this guy will do on the floor. Another falcon punch on the ground. Oh. Alright. Use this access over here to whatever... that is? God, what do you think was in that pod? That's kind of creepy to think about. But of course the potential combinations that we have for this have exploded a little bit, now that I can uh, <laughs> rotate this thing around. Oh. Oh, hello. What is this thing? Is that just for decoration on the ground? Looks like it. It looks like I have kind of reached a dead end right here, but that thing's already blown out. I can't hit it again. Okay. So do I need to nab this thing? What is that? It's gluing on the ground. I don't know what that is. Well, I know for certain that we will. It's impossible for us to, like, screw ourselves out of this, so, um... What is going on here? I guess my curiosity has come back to bite me. Oh, so it's just a red lens. I just had to pick it up. Okay. Oh my god. So that's the Frankenstein abomination. Oh. Oh boy. Let's take a better look at that as soon as the game saves for me. Come on, let's pull it up. I want to pull it up. The mechanical monstrosity. Size big, difficulty high. The vampires were not the first tenants of the castle. The previous owner was a scientist known as Frederick von Frankenstein. He used the castle to conceal his horrific experiments into artificial life. The mechanical monstrosity was one such foray. Frankenstein created this giant scorpion-like machine using the brain of a malformed medical experiment gone wrong. However, his creature proved difficult to control and now rampages through the castle, killing anything it can get its claws into. Whew! Yeah, that is pretty intense. Now I see that the fairy looks like, not the fairy, but the crystal, uh, seems like it's somewhat effective against this guy, so... Let's try to back it up. Looks like it's a little lumbering and slow, and I need to not hit the electric poles. Looks like it's a little lumbering and slow, so I think I'd be able to get some combos off here. Definitely get some of this. I know it said the fairies weren't, like, super effective. Well, I have zero, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go ahead and try to heal as much as we can here. Okay, that's a dodge. Try to get the chainsaw. Nope. Not up. Time for the chainsaw. There we go. Alright. That's what I'm talking about. That was a lot of damage. Well, this doesn't look like this will be too, too difficult, so... Oh. I don't think I need the crystal. I think I know why this thing is so disturbing for me. It looks like a freaking spider! And apparently can just get all of its health back. That's a lot of fun. However, what is this all about? Ah, I see. So it looks like that makes the energy bad whenever it feeds on it. So, we have to do enough damage again. There we 
go. Have to deal enough damage again to where it tries to feed. But... Oh! That doesn't get what it wants. Yeah, I love that direct heavy combo. I know we've been using that one for a while. Alright. Oh god! And punch it! Ooh, didn't like that, did you? That's what you get for trying to heal. 